Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're doing something a little bit different today because we are going to be doing some science. We are making a volcano. I'm going to show you everything that I have got to make this volcano because you can recreate this at home. Just make sure you're outside or somewhere like that because it can get a little bit messy. So we have just had this delivery of all these different Thunderbird things. Thunderbirds are go is a new generation revival of the classic TV series and actually many of the main characters from the original series are back. And to celebrate this, brand new Thunderbirds of Go toys are available in the UK now. And we have been sent a couple along with some dressing up clothes and a mission for the kids to play with. So when I told Chris's dad that I was doing a video for Thunderbirds, he was a little bit jealous because he has been a massive Thunderbirds fan for the whole of his life. So he has naturally got the boys into Thunderbirds too. So when they come home from school in a minute and they see all of this hanging up, they are going to be so excited. Plus, when I tell them we're making a volcano as well, they're literally gonna think it's Christmas day. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and get the boys from school now, and then I'm gonna show you what we're going to make and how we're going to make it, and then let the experiment begin. We're gonna see if Thunderbirds 1 is faster than a volcano. So here is everything we need to create a volcano. I've got this little like dish for us to put it in so that it kind of keeps everything nice and contained. I've got an empty plastic bottle which is gonna be like the kind of center of our volcano. I've got some washing up liquid, some vinegar, bicarbonate of soda, some red food coloring to make it look like lava, um, and some modeling clay as well. And then I have these, which um, are gonna be quite good for getting all the contents into the plastic container. Right, look who's just got back from school. Do you want me to show you something super cool? Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, mm -hmm. go into that room there. Oh, cool. Thunderbirds, cool. Thunderbird one is ready for rescue. It's so fast that it can reach anywhere on earth in under an hour. But we need to make sure it's fast enough to reach an active volcano before it erupts. Can you create a volcano to test the speed of Thunderbird one against the volcano's eruption? We've got all our bits ready, so all we need to do now is get you guys changed, don't we? So you're ready to make the best volcano ever. Mm -hmm. Ready? Let's do it. Bye-bye. Thunderbirds are go. We're ready to build a volcano. The boys are all dressed and ready to go. These outfits have been given to us by Pretend to Be, the dressing Pretend up company. So we've got Alan and Virgil right here and they are about yes. to be captains of the ship to go and try and save the volcano from erupting. Volcano! This is our masterpiece. A bit of the bicarbonate of soda is around the outside, but we thought that kind of looks a little bit like ash, like the volcano is about to erupt. So we are ready to go outside and test whether Thunderbird 1 and 3 are quicker than a volcano. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Thunderbirds, oh! Oh my gosh, that got you! Right, we have just finished our experiment. Who do you think won? Thunderbirds won or the volcano? Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds? Was it much faster? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah? That volcano was really fun to make, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is literally, this, this mission was right up our kids' street because this is something that they just love doing. Anything kind of science-y or experiment-y, they absolutely love. And then to combine it with Thunderbirds was just the best. So thank you so much to Thunderbirds Argo for sending us these toys and letting us have a play around with them. And thank you to Pretend To Be for sending us these amazing costumes. The boys absolutely love them. I'm gonna put a link down below in my description box to the whole range of the Thunderbirds of Go toys. So if your kids are anything like mine, love a bit of Thunderbirds, love a bit of experimenting, give this a go this half term because um, if it's gonna rain like it has been doing the last couple of weeks, this is the perfect 
thing to do with your kids to keep them occupied. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.